Hello folks, this is going to be the first in hopefully a series of sewing lessons from last winter. Today we're going to make a hat. A hat like this, not like this, you can't make this into a sewing machine. But this, a little flat cap, it's pretty simple, I'm going to show you how to do it. Over here, Ernest will come in and show everything close in here so we can see all the pattern pieces. We'll point out what we have, which makes up this. We have eight panels which make the top of the hat. Those are going to be here, we've got a few different ones cut out, we're going to be doing a tan one. This here is the brim of the hat. This here is the interior of the hat, it goes in there. These here are the interior uh, facings, which go around the outside here. We're doing them in black because if you've ever worn hats, you'll know that after a while they get all grungy on the inside, and I don't know why people make them out of white colored fabrics where it shows up. This here is going to be the fabric cover for the little button, and these are going to be the stiffness for the brim. This here is a closed cell, fairly rigid foam. You probably won't be able to find this really easily unless you can find some sort of specialist fabric or material supply store. If so, it's great for it. Uh, if not, you can use buckram or thick cardboard or any of a number of other things uh, to go ahead and make your brim stiff enough. All right, so to start off with, we're going to take eight of these. And go ahead and sew the main body of that over here on our console. Now we will go together and start sewing these seams. So we're sewing these with a one quarter inch seam allowance starting right side to right side. In the case of this fabric, I am deciding that the slightly fuzzy brushed side of the canvas is the right side. Match them up there, start at the bottom. Start with a quick back tack. And then sew all the way around. Top and the back tack. Needle as we're getting started. And the final two, sewn together. And there we have the basic shape for our hat. Next thing to do is to show, sew the brim. Make sure you get your pieces right side to right side. Again, this is a quarter inch seam allowance. Starting in the back tack. Finishing with a back tack. Turn this right side out. And roll around the edge. So make sure this seems nice and neat. Step enough for the brim and see how this fits. Might need to trim this up a little bit if it's not a great fit in there. If you're doing this on a home machine, you're probably going to want to use a lighter weight brim stiffener than what I'm using here. You're unlikely to get it to feed through. That is our hat brim. Now, 
we're going to need to go ahead and change out our thread again and sew the lining. Next thing we're going to do is going to take the facing for the interior of that and sew this along its two seams. If, like I'm doing, you're using a lighter weight fabric for your lining and facing than you are for the body of the hat, don't forget to change your needle. I know everyone hates to do that, but your results will be much better. And now we're back to the other color thread, and here is where having two machines makes things a whole lot easier. Turn that inside out. I want the center of the brim to match up with one of the seams on the hat body. So to make sure this here works, because I have neglected to notch it, I'd recommend you notch it. Let me go ahead and start from middle and sew out in either direction from there. has a brim and it's starting to look like a hat. Next up, we'll go ahead and take the facing that we've already sewn. Should fit around nicely like this. I'm sewing with a 3 8 seam allowance. I'm going to sew all the way around the inside. sewn with correct seam allowance, it should match up very nicely all the way around like this. Because you have eight seams around a pretty small area, you're matching it to an exactly matched facing, you do have to be really accurate with your seam allowances when you're starting each of these main seams on the top of the hat. If it comes out that they're too big or too small, it's not going to match up to this facing. So that's the one area where you need to pay a lot of attention. Now to finish it up, we'll hop back over to this other machine. and we'll sew in the rest of the lining. Here again, I'm sewing the different seam allowance. This time I'm sewing with a half inch for a reason which will become apparent as we get to the end of this process. So I'm going to stop right here at the center back seam and a little back tack there. I'm going to go back around to. I'm not sure, let's stick on the same direction. We're going to skip ahead. We're going to leave about oh four inches or so here open, so we're going to be able to turn the hat back out on itself. Seam for our seam, we don't need to back tack. And now we should be able to go ahead and grab the brim of the hat and pull it out through the hole we left. Assuming that that hole is big enough to indeed do that.
we go. Now our hat is very nearly finished now. The only last thing that remains to do is to take this little open area, and the reason we were using a wider seam allowance here is so we have a decent amount of fabric to tuck back in on itself. This is going to be the only visible little bit of stitching here. Just finger press that. And then we're going to sew as close to the edge as possible with like a 1 16th edge stitch here. Yeah.